Hi, let's wind our way through linear and east animations here inside Swift UI. So what are they? I have illustrated them with several examples. So by the end of this tutorial, you will understand how to use linear, is in, is out, and is in out. You can also use default for your animations, but we will not go through that in this example, since it is similar to is in out. You can find all the examples I will show in this tutorial from this GitHub repository, Open Swift UI Animations, by navigating to the Xcode project. So let's go back to Xcode. To apply any of these easings to your animation, that is linear, is in, is out, and is in out, you can use the animation modifier or use with animation. In this example, we are using face animator. Over here, we apply them to the trailing animation closure. So you can specify them for animations you create using the animation modifier with animation or the trailing animation closure when using face animator. So let's begin with linear. Linear allows you to create animations with constant velocity. So taking a look at this closely, as the object moves from the initial position to the final position, there is no change in speed or velocity at all. So you can use linear for building an animation that needs to have a constant speed one great example is when you have a loading spinner. You don't want users to see decrease and increase in speed. So the animation of the loading spinner should be at a constant speed. Let's look at this example. In this example, we have matching ants effect. Using linear makes the dashes move at constant speed around the shape. We can try any kind of easing, but that will be awkward because there will be decrease and increase in speed. So this is a great example of applying linear. Let's look at a second example. If you want something related to rotation, for example, the rotation of the fan icons, you can see they rotate at a constant speed. In this case, you can use linear. The next example is also related to the first one I showed. That is also a margin and effect. So you can see here, we are using linear to move the dashes seamlessly along the path. Let's go to the next, that is ease in. If you apply ease in to your animation, it makes the object start slowly and towards the end, its speed will increase and makes it stop suddenly. So if you want to create an animation that ends smoothly, you don't need to use ease in because it makes a moving object come to rest suddenly. So when do you use ease in? You can use it for animations that disappear from the screen, like this example. Next, we have ease out. As I said before, you can use ease in for an effect that causes an object to disappear from a screen. You can use ease out for an effect that causes an object to enter the screen. So over here, we apply it the same way by adding it in the trailing animation closure of the face animator modifier. So what does ease out do? When you apply it to your animation, it causes an object to start quickly and slows the object down at the end of the animation. So this result in creating a very smooth animation. So let's look at a practical example. So in this example, the object enters the screen from the end. So this is great when you use ease out to create such kind of animation because it makes a moving object comes to a resting position smoothly. Finally, we have ease in, ease out. Applying ease in out to your animation makes the object start slowly. Then in the middle, the object will attain a high velocity. And finally, it will slow down when it is about to come to rest. So this is a combination of ease in and ease out. It is also similar to the default animation used across all the Apple platforms. Ease in out is great for to and flow motion. That is the motion of an object from one point to another point on the screen. So in this example, you can see we have a scale and rotation animation and the object animates right on the screen by scaling it from the original size to a larger size. So if you want to animate object right on the screen that move from or that animates from one position to another position, it is great to use ease in out. So these are the four standard animation easing types you will be using for your Swift UI animations. We just looked at how to apply each one of them for your Swift UI animations. Don't forget to explore the examples used in this tutorial in this GitHub repository, Open Swift UI Animations.
thanks for watching this video